This is Mark. Mark is dating Sarah. Mark and Sarah are deeply in love and have started talking about marriage, kids, and buying a house together. Sarah, a bit brighter than Mark, heard from a friend that it's always a good idea to speak to a mortgage advisor before buying a home. And so, very reluctantly, Mark decides he will give the professionals a chance. Despite Zebuniso Alimova's strong presence on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, radio, magazines, newspapers, and in the local community, somehow Mark has never heard of her. But can we really expect much more from a man who loses all of his money betting on rigged chicken fights? Not really. So, unfortunately, Mark's mate, Broke Ben, knows a guy with cheap rates and recommends him to Mark. So, Mark phones the guy with cheap rates. He phones him again. He phones him another time. Then, Mark phones him once more. And finally, he phones him again. And this time, Mark hears the famous elevator music, which signifies that he will now be on hold until all the heat and energy in the universe is spread out evenly across inconceivable distances in space, and the universe itself dies a cold and lonely death, also known as the Big Freeze. This is gonna take a while, so uh, we'll come back to Mark in just a second. Meanwhile, Mark's drunk uncle, aka Drunkle Jack, is going through his daily routine. This typically includes a bowl of Cocoa Pops for breakfast, before meandering to the bottle shop for a case of the cheapest wine he can find. Jack then borrows his landlord stove to deep fry chicken nuggets, all while rocking out to ACDC's Back in Black on repeat. Now, that's not the worst plan I've ever heard, to be honest. But today, Jack forgot about his Cocoa Pops. So by lunchtime, Jack is absolutely munted, and next minute he passes out while frying up his crispy golden nuggets. The unattended oil and nuggets burst into flames and erupt like a volcano. The kitchen catches fire first, but the house is a raging inferno within minutes. Drunkle Jack is still inside. 